we can definitely improve upon last year with um, our new defense and offense that we brought in. We've added a lot of new players that will really help things out in terms of our defensive side, which was a bit of a weakness last year, and then definitely offensively. We had a couple of really good bats in the lineup last year, and I think we've made it stronger from top to bottom. Pitching, we did a really good job last year of holding ourselves in games and giving ourselves an opportunity to win. So I think those were areas where we needed to improve upon, and I think we have. Key returners, definitely um, Dana Edmondson in center field, leadoff. Um, I think we'll probably keep her in the leadoff position to start the year especially. She's a huge returner for us, um, senior year. Obviously, everybody in the conference knows her. She's got tons of power and speed. Um, she also makes great game-changing plays in the outfield. And she's just a huge leader on the field. All the girls look up to her in terms of that, and I think she's a huge asset probably our, you know, limelight to start the year. And I think that she's going to be a big one for us going into the conference play. Um, Lexi Storer also is an extreme returner, only as a sophomore, you know, on the mound last year. She, she held us in a ton of games. She basically um, gave us an opportunity to win every single time that she was on the field. And that's something that is extremely important for us. And the girls are really comfortable playing behind her. So those are probably our two strongest returners. Um, we have a lot of other returners that have stepped into some good positions. You know, Alex Suzuki caught every game for us last year and has done huge strides over the um, fall and early spring here. And then Danny Batista was um, out last year, but she's back and she's doing a great job over at second base, which was a big position for us because um, losing Dakota Villela last year was a void to fill. And I think Danny's doing a great job and was able to learn a little bit behind her as well. And we have a lot of Dom Springers. She's, you know, coming back from a shoulder surgery, as is Megan Granito. So we're hoping to get them back on the mound to be able to help Lexi out a little bit as, as veterans of the game and, and being in the college game. And I think that, you know, once we have some of them rehabbing back, we should be in a better situation. Uh, Sydney Leger also is rehabbing back from an ACL. We had her at shortstop last year, but I think she's going to be a better fit for us, probably outfield-wise. And... Um, I mean, gosh, Erica Winter just tore her ACL, so she's um, off of the mound. But we have a lot of core group of girls that were here last year that are really going to help these new kids understand. And then our new kids are going to bring a huge impact to, to help them out even more. Well, we have a lot of new additions that I think are going to, to really help us out. So in terms of new kids, I mean, we have Kayla Kite that's transferred in at third base for us. She's a big-time hitter and defender for us. Um, Keely Mayers is also a transfer at first base for us. She can pick anything. She can do the splits. She can hit offensively. I mean, she is a, a huge asset. So on the corners, I think we're, um, we've added huge depth in terms of just veteran-wise and just making great plays. Uh, Maite Lascano is going to play shortstop for us. She's a freshman that has come in as a third baseman and transitioned over phenomenally. She makes great plays. Um, and she's, I think she's really going to be a steady player for us at shortstop. Maddie Masick is working in behind Danny at, at, short, or at second base, and she's a, a very good defender as well, just trying to catch up with the college game, and I think she's um, you know, doing a, a good job over there. We have Allie Lloyd working behind the plate with Alex, um, and she's a great blocker. They both have two completely different games but are going to be big assets for us, and it'll give us an opportunity to have more than one catcher. Um, as we go along throughout the spring, as we've had one for the, each of the last two years. Um, in left field, we've got a bunch of new faces. We have uh, Kaylin Blackwoods out there. She's doing a great job, transferred in to us. Um, Sydney's been out there as well, as along with uh, Samantha Romberger, who's a quick freshman that we have. Um, and then in right field, we have Megan Maloney returning, who's had a great fall. And she's really hitting the ball well, which is something that she's worked super hard on and has done a really good job of. So... Big picture-wise, I think we have a lot of great bodies out there. Um, Cassidy Ziegler is a local um, freshman that came in as a utility for us, and she's actually going to pick up some pitching, which she did in high school, to help out since we're a little bit trim there starting out. And she's on board and going to do what she can to help out Lex. So I think that, you know, in terms of the big picture, I think we have a great group of girls. It's probably one of the best groups that I've had um, to work with in terms of overall. We love them off the field and on the field. We have great team chemistry. And I'm just excited to see them play. I mean, we're, we're hitting the ball well in practice. We're making good defensive plays. I think their team chemistry will take them a long way, along with the upgrades that we've made to the athleticism and, and just the overall type of gameplay that we play for what I'm looking for. So I think that we'll start seeing a little bit more of a style that 
that we're used to coaching. The girls are, um, you know, really excited, and and I think that we're we should be a team that you know can go in and and give give ourselves an opportunity to win every game. So we play defense behind our pitchers and hit. I think that we have a really good opportunity to um, do some great things in the conference and region.